Did you know that in 2016, there were more than 4 million victims of sex trafficking globally? These numbers have only continued to grow since then. 99% of those victims are women and girls. It's sad that the ones who are the most vulnerable to being trafficked are the girls in foster care. These issues are more than just women and girls being kidnapped. Traffickers are profiting from these girls. The estimated profit from forced sexual labor is $99 million worldwide. It has grown and spread so massively that even live events like the Super Bowl are now needing increased monitoring. Another sad thing that comes from all of this is that the victims are still arrested for the crimes they are forced to commit while being trafficked. The world we live in is becoming more and more unsafe every day. All of these statistics came from Kara Kelly. As a young woman, I have been forced to live a scared life. It has become so unsafe that women and girls can't go out anywhere alone or even anywhere if they're accompanied by someone. Women are scared to go grocery shopping, to pump their own gas, and even just to walk to their cars through a parking lot. These are reasons why a stop needs to be put to this. No woman deserves to live a life in fear and no child deserves to be raised that way. None of you here today probably think it will happen to you. It's easy to think that way. However, you have to realize that all of these women being trafficked are daughters, mothers, wives, even sisters. They are all of those things just like you and me. They never thought it would happen to them either, which is why everyone in here today should do something to try and put an end to this. I'm going to discuss with you how women are trafficked, the short-term and long-term effects they experience, and what needs to be done in order to prevent it and stop it. According to Olga Gajic Veljanovsky, sex trafficking represents a gross violation of a person's rights to liberty and freedom of movement, and is often accompanied by violence and degrading treatment which can have detrimental effects on their health. There are many tactics that women need to be aware of in order to prevent these exact things from happening to them. Traffickers are known to use many lures. They use seduction, false job advertisements and interviews, false travel and education opportunities, abduction, and other similar ways. It is important to look into everything thoroughly before ever participating in it. With all of these things being known, law enforcement could look into all of these things traffickers use as lures and help prevent it as well. If you look into these things when you see them and find something that seems off, report it to authorities immediately. If you find something like this personally and can be aware of your surroundings and look into all of these things, you may be able to save someone's life. Now that we know what to observe and what to be aware of, we need to know what these women who have been trafficked and the women who are currently still being trafficked are enduring. According to Kathy Zimmerman, trained counselors interviewed 192 different women who had been trafficked and sexually exploited about the abuse they had experienced and evaluated their physical and mental health status within 14 days of entry into the post-trafficking services. Most of them reported physical or sexual violence while being trafficked. This was 95% of these women who reported that statistic. 59% of them reported pre-trafficking abuse, as well as multiple post-trafficking physical and psychological problems. In short term, women are typically exploited immediately after being trafficked. Oftentimes, they are traded for their organs, forced into marriage, forced to commit crimes, sexually exploited, and even more. They experience major trauma. They're forced to participate in intimate relationships for as long as they're kept there. Many of them contract STDs that will affect them for the rest of their lives. With all of these things being known in the public world, why is more not being done to prevent this and stop it? There are stories every day of more and more women being taken, but there are hardly ever stories of women who are actually being saved from it. That is my main purpose today. I am raising awareness to all of you and hope that you will put effort in to stop this. These are tragedies that need to be handled. It's time to discuss change that needs to take place. More people need to be willingly involved in this. According to Vidya Mali Samara Singhe, anti-trafficking prevention measures must be skillfully integrated into current community development practices. And that for this reason, local and global development planners must become more aware of this issue and the strategic actions necessary to address it. Therefore, civilians, authorities, and government legislature need to recognize how complex this crime is 
and how rapidly it's growing. There are too many ways that trafficking can take place to think that making it illegal is going to stop it. Drugs are illegal and it still happens everywhere in the world every day. Trafficking being illegal isn't enough. There also needs to be strategies of prevention put into any and every location that's possible. Another difference that needs to take place is educating these women and children. If women are more educated, they will be more aware and less vulnerable. With all of this being said, one of my main points is that this can happen to anyone. You never think it will happen to you until it does. This is why all of you here today need to be informed and involved. All of you need to do whatever you can to try and make a difference and put a stop to this. Not enough is being done to put an end to it. According to guest voices in an article, it was not that long ago that many Americans did not realize slavery existed as a real and rampant problem around the world. Thanks to the tireless work of advocates, including survivors, public awareness of human trafficking has grown dramatically. It is now more widely known among Americans that millions of people, 20.9 million people exactly, according to the International Labor Organization, are now enslaved again. The United States is both a source and destination for these victims. Therefore, we have discussed how sex trafficking happens, what takes place to the women, and what we can do to try to stop and prevent it from continuing to happen. It is important that even civilians make effort to try to put an end to all of this. Nobody chooses to have the experience of being trafficked. Nobody wants it. These women are being taken against their will and forced to live a life where they will never be the same. They will be a different person for the rest of their lives. It is also important to be very aware that this is happening just as much to young girls as it is to women. If you don't want it to be your mother, your daughter, your wife, or even your sister, then you need to try and stop it. If everyone today can leave with remorse and the want to make it all better, it will happen. It is too big of a growing issue to not be fixed, but I believe it can be done even with just civilian effort all around the world. After everything today, I hope everyone here is able to leave with more education and more knowledge on the situation. Before I took the time to research and really look into this topic, I didn't know as much as I thought I did. Many people think they are aware of what is really happening out there with everything that's going on. However, once you really take the time to look into it, read the statistics, read the facts, and pay attention to your surroundings, you're really able to realize how much is actually taking place. There's more going on than what you're aware of. Therefore, I would really like for everyone here to try their best to make a difference and really do as much as they can. It is a worldwide, rapidly growing issue. I have mentioned that multiple times today, but the more I mention it, the more it will stay in your head. Everyone needs to make a difference and everyone needs to try and put a stop to it. Without effort from as many people as possible, it's not gonna change. Law enforcement can't do it all on their own, but neither can we. Therefore, with everyone's help and growing widespread attention, we can make a difference.